Hello YouTube, this is uh, Majestical Magic Harper where we challenge you here today with a, a little helpful tutorial on how to install your PlayStation 3 controller onto your PC and play games from Steam and stuff like that. You know, fun deal. Anyways, uh, what you need to do is you need to go to motionenjoy.com and uh, go to the downloads and download the latest version, which is right now 7.0 or 0.70 which I already have right here but I've already installed it so it's right up here on my desktop but anyways I'm gonna do a quick insight on this for you guys so you can not worry about it being a virus which there you go it's not a virus but anyways what you want to do is at this point I'd recommend if you have to pause the video and go get your PlayStation 3 controller and your charger for your PlayStation 3 controller. You'll need this, it'll be very helpful. And also another thing, you need to make sure that you use the same charger, <laughs> but you don't have to use the same controller. I'm just gonna use this as a warning. Anyways, uh, let's get to it. Now, since I've already installed it and downloaded it, you guys won't see anything too good until just a second here. And what you want to do is you want to go to your driver manager after, actually, when you plug in your controller. Not exactly when you do it. You want to go ahead and plug it in now. You'll hear a noise like that. Mine's already set up since I've got this done already I'm just gonna go ahead and disconnect it I'm gonna act like I haven't done this but anyways what you want to do this is you want to go to your driver manager now, I'm gonna say this now I'm going to cut to the driver manager because my video will get chopped if I don't do this so give me a brief moment on this now what you want to do is you want to go down to here this little box and you click the port button or the little box button whatever you want to call it I'll call it the port button since this is called port and you want to go to install all that'll come up here just wait about a minute and once it makes that noise for your computer go to profiles and it should say one point dual shock three slash saxis usb and there you have it you should have it by now but to test to see if your controller actually works hit the vibration test then you want to go and don't hit enable yet you want to go to your led check mark the custom and go to the box here and check off one then you want to go to enable and you should be set to go on your game now for any reason why it doesn't work let me know I'll try to help you but anyways I'm gonna go and show you how it works on games like on actually Steam or Halo 2 because I don't know how to stress this. It, it's sad. People don't know how to do this. I'll help you in 30 seconds and I'll have a tiny bit of gameplay on Halo in the next video. But for now, I'm going to go and play a tiny bit of Dead Space. But this isn't going to work. <laughs> you have to have another program, but I'll get to that here in a little bit. But anyways, I hope this helped you guys in any way. But thanks for watching, and I'll show you some gameplay of something that I'll at least be able to play with the controller. Anyways, this is me going to shut up for the rest of the video and let you guys watch a game. Alright, you guys, this is me challenger again. Oh, I'm just gonna uh, I said that backwards in here, but anyways, uh, I'm back again. And this time I finally got this down. Uh, anyways, this is, uh, yeah, yeah. What do you do, guys?
start with the triggers. Anyways, R1, she's here for days and days. Love having her play though. And I know all the plasma mates are whatever. Nobody else is playing the plasma. Here is uh, L1, or actually, bah, my bad, not L1, R2, which. Oh no. Derpy moment on my your uh, voice so in order to speak or chat with somebody on the game it allows you to do that so anyways um, L2 throws the grenades which is kind of nifty there but anyways uh, onto the uh, d-pad absolutely does nothing unless you're in the start position thing you want to know is you're trying to believe this swap weapon. Square is to reload. Circle is to reload. And X is to jump. And when you zoom in, I plan this perfectly. You can actually aim. Especially when you push that R3. Yeah, it, it's, it's nuts. guys i'm just gonna have just a kind of little commentary thing here uh, i'm just starting up uh, halo 1 on legendary or halo, 1, halo 2 on legendary but yeah uh, let me know if you guys want me to do some halo gameplay here i think that'd be kind of something new and cool to do i mean seeing all that i, I helped a little bit with people i'm not for sure but yeah, I, I muted the volume for the game, so, because if you notice how ridiculous it was in the, uh, teaching of how my controller works, yeah. But, uh, anyways, uh, please, if, if I helped you in any way, just leave, leave a like, maybe you subscribe, and check out a few of my friends and mine's other videos. It'd be, it'd be nice of you because our Minecraft videos are boring as shit. <laughs> and maybe you can tell us what to do to spice things up. I mean, it'd be pretty cool because normally we don't, or I don't, have very many people watch anything or do anything. But yeah, this is just a last little minute thing. I just decided to screw around and have a little bit of glitchy crap going on. But, yeah. So anyways, uh... Thanks for watching. Uh, this was uh, my stupid idea at the end here. Uh, but yeah, this is a Magistral Magic Card for Wii Challenger going down an elevator. That didn't happen. I'll let you watch this last bit. Alright. See you guys.